Hello everyone. Today we have another exciting update in AI video generation by using WAN 2.1. Alibaba recently released two new models, WAN 2.1, Front Control and InPaint. Both modified versions of the original WAN 2.1 video model. You can grab these directly from Hugging Face and I'll walk you through how to use them step by step. So first, let's talk about the key differences between these models. The InPaint model is perfect for modifying existing video frames, letting you know edit them one by one. On the other hand, the Fun Control model supports Control Net, which means you can apply motion effects just like you would with images. Using depth maps, poses or line art to guide your video generation. Instead of creating individual frames, this model processes multiple frames in one batch, stitching them together to form a seamless video. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the fun control model, specifically the 1.3b parameter version, which is more manageable for most PCs. If you have a high-end GPU, with plenty of VRAM, you can also try the larger one, which is 14B model. But for now, we'll stick with the smaller one. To get started, head over to the Hugging Face page for WAN 2.1 Fun 1.3B Control. Under the Files tab, you'll see a list of files. But here's the good news. If you already have used it, when 2.1, you only need to download one file, the Diffusion PyTorch model safe tensors file. This is the core model file for when 2.1 fun control. The other files like the VAE and text encoder are already included in Comfy UI if you have set up when 2.1 before. So once downloaded, save the files in your Save the files in your Comfy UI models folder under Diffusion. Let's move to Comfy UI. If you have updated recently, you will notice a new native node called WAN Fun Control to Video. I recommend using the command line git pull instead of the Comfy UI manager to avoid update issues. Once everything is set up, We'll dive into the workflow. Now that we have got the model set up, let's jump into the workflow in Comfy UI. You can download the workflow from comfyuiblog.com. The key here is using the van fun control to video node. This is the this is where the magic happens. If you have worked with animate diff before, you'll notice some similarities. But this method gives us way more consistency in style and motion. So first, we need a reference video. I'll be using a short dance clip as an example, but you can use anything. So just make sure it's not too long if you are testing on a mid-range GPU. The idea is to take the first frame of this video Restyle it however you want, like using Flux for example, and then let WAN 2.1 Fun Control apply that style to the entire sequence. So, here is how it works first, you load your video. I am using the load video node to pull in my source clip, I have uploaded this one, then restyle that frame. You can upload the image which you want to animate. So next step is pre-process the video for control net. And this is where we decide how the motion transfers. I'm using DW pose for skeleton tracking, but you could also use line art or depth maps depending on what you want. One big advantage here is that when 2.1 handles style consistency way better than animate diff. 
even when the camera angle changes the character's outfit background and detail stay current no weird flickering or random morphing control net i recommend starting simple just tw pose works great for dance moves but if you need more precision like keeping clothes details sharp you can blend in line art i'll show you how to combine them using the control net preprocessor nodes so after setting up the control inputs we feed everything into van fun control to video so here are few key settings which is required for this video generation so here cfg scale i keep it around 5 for balance sampler euler or dpm plus plus 2m work well next is skip layer guidance this boosts detail so try layer 10 if your gpu can handle it now that we have generated our initial video you can see how good this generated the result when we process an image through dw pose it keeps the original artistic style while adding motion from your reference video when we process an image through dw pose it keeps the original artistic style while adding motion from your reference video and here is what happens the face clothing and background from your uploaded image stay true to their original look it works with paintings digital art sketches or anything for example i uploaded this character artwork and this is the final result i have got as you can see it maintains all original colors and details but now dances exactly like my reference video so you don't have to you don't have to redraw frames manually your art gains professional quality animation automatically it works with both realistic and cartoon styles so when using realistic line art control instead of dw pose you'll notice three major changes first is the background transforms completely the second one is the character's clothing gets redesigned and the third is the face loses its original likeness but with dw pose the face maintains its similarity to your uploaded image and clothing stays true to the original design whereas background remains more consistent <laughs> now how to solve facial problems this powerful dual control net method solves the facial consistency problem while maintaining precise motion control so first pass is dw pose which captures accurate body movements so second pass is depth anything which adds special awareness and here you can also use line art after using both it preserves the facial features while animating naturally okay and this is how you can use this workflow when 2.1 control net and that's all for today's video please like share and subscribe if you have liked this one and follow for more such content thank you bye bye